Hey guys, welcome to this video and this is another video and in today's video we are going to set up our login or registration page. Well, setting up those two pages are going to be pretty much fun. I will be honest with you. Yeah, they are going to be fun. Well, we didn't set up the estimated upload time here because we have no idea how the things are going to go. I will set up once I set up the backend afterwards. So for now we're just looking at this thing and it looks pretty okay for me. I mean, not much of a cool stuff, but not much of a bad stuff. Maybe what we can have, what we could have done is basically just add a little bit of something uh, above the progress part in the last video. Or could I just uh, like maybe H1? I would say upload video. Okay, H1 doesn't really consider. They don't really much consider H1 as a thing. Class name is going to be flex justify center margin y5 text to Excel. Okay, we have a lot of margin. Y somewhere. Where is there just a large gap between this thing? Okay, what are we saying? Uh, PT padding top. Oh, we're just saying defining padding top. Sorry. Padding top, padding top. You don't have to say this. You don't have to say this. Did I just say five? Upload video to Excel. We could have made it three Excel also, so I want to make it three Excel real quick. Mm, personally, two Excel is pretty fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Now we're gonna move ahead to the sign up and login page. So basically, we're gonna go to page folder, and here we're gonna have our login.jsx, our register.jsx, our forgot password, reset pass.jsx. Or maybe forgot password. Kind of the same thing. So we're gonna go to uh, sign up and login page David and then first document we have this thing. It looks okay for us. So we copy this thing. Let's go to the login page. We paste it there. We have to say npm i editor of hero icons slash react we need to install that one in the client section till then we're gonna remove a few waste stuffs okay we have the sign in like I told we are using amber tree which means orange theme so we're gonna get rid of all of them okay remember me forgot your password we need to set up a lot of things okay let's start from somewhere get rid of the speed tag there we go, there's an image, we need to remove the image, sign into your account, yeah that's what I want to say, uh, not registered, sign up now. This is basically going to be, I'm going to call it as a span, because I want the class, I want these, you know, class names, and uh, we're going to say import link from next slash link or what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say link href is gonna be is gonna take us to slash register well basically if I if I were to say class is this uh, it's not going to work we cannot use any attribute or we cannot put any class name for the link uh, elements so yeah that's the thing that's why I defined it as a 
it's banned because this link is going to convert it into an ahref tag so yeah you can literally just copy this thing and go a little bit down in here we have a form this method is post action is this when say on submit this do handle submit function passes e to handle submit function we'll see about that function in a minute but first of all let me fix this thing It'll take us to the forgot password and same thing and make it span alrighty forgot password do we need anything, anything else sign in button is going to submit this thing and yeah okay let's set up this thing real quick let's say it as login we're gonna have a use state snipped okay use state snipped uh, we're gonna have values it's going to contain few values that's gonna be our email as empty and our password as empty and here we're gonna say in the email we're gonna have a values equal to values dot email values of email values of. well why I'm saying this values dot email values of password well basically if we get some response from the server like the password is incorrect what I want to do I don't want to delete the whole password I want to remove delete that I want to clear that email section so that's why I'm just passing the email and password and if I have not defined some uh, keys in the object they're gonna throw me an error yeah we couldn't get email because it's not defined so something like that that's why I predefined something I'm gonna have a, a constant handle inputs uh, function it's gonna take an E and I'm gonna say constant values and then uh, we get the values in the not actually values just the value in the name and I'm gonna say get it from either target I'm gonna have the set values function. Either I'm, I can use the pre or I can just you know call. I can just get the value of the old values. Uh, they both work the same way. So what we can do, we can just get the values of the other thing of old values, and we're gonna replace them with the name and new value. Okay, just simple, simple. Right, we did something like that, and it should work pretty fine by now. We're gonna have another thing called this constant handle. Submit is just going to take our e, which means event. We're going to have e dot event dot prevent default, and then we are going to make fetch request. Basically, we will use a, a Axios because I personally like that one. Axios one. I mean, it's not really important to use Axios or anything else. You can use fetch also. So both the same. We're going to use fetch. We don't have to import something anything for fetch. I will make uh, this one actually instantaneous request. I'm going to say constant data is going to be await. Uh, we're going to make fetch request to auth authentication slash login, and we're going to give it some data. We're going to have some method going to be post. Okay, then we're going to give it the body. It's going to be in the JSON the stringify method. This is a stringify our values. Then we want to set the headers. Headers are just basically going to be content type. Right, not bad. Application slash JSON. Dot JSON. No, we cannot do this. I need to say dot constant response is this. And constant data is going to be equal to await response.json. We could, we could have also use dot then dot then stuff like that, but this thing is a little bit more cleaner. That's why I use this one. So it's exactly going to be sort of like same for the registration one. We're gonna have on change event here, and then we're gonna have event handle inputs, give it the E, and that's it. That's literally it for handling handling these basic things. Remember me option we're not gonna do anything with, with that one for now so run into account just copy all of this stuff paste it in the registration 
do what we need to change a little bit things not much change this one to register auth slash register instead of auth slash login and uh, here we're gonna we have to define the username also username this we have to create another div for the username also going to be username username copy it want to paste it here type is going to be text autocomplete new username place all is going to be username and in here we have a rounded top md which means it's going to have a rounded top border but we don't want the rounded top border now as we have username also so i will just show you how does this all thing look like okay that's not an issue for me but I will show you that thing, don't worry. Sign up. We want to remove this forgot your password section because we're registering. We don't have to do anything like that. Like remember me or sign up. Maybe we can have said that remember me there because when there's a, a registers his account, he's just directly going to get logged in. So, well, never mind. We'll see that later. Already registered. Sign up. You take us to the login page. When I say uh, create a new account, alrighty. And other uh, things looks pretty fine. We're also gonna use React Toastify to show notification in a website, and that's gonna be a fun part to be honest. Mm, yep. When it's copied the login one into the forgot password, get rid of this thing. Let's say reset pass. I don't think we'll be making a forgot password till the end, or we will see at the end. Okay, it's going to be new password, the email address, and new password. Not registered yet, sign up. Or we can say remember your. Password. Sign in. I'm gonna take us to login. And here, I'm gonna say sign in to your account. Or I'm gonna say reset your password. For about password. Or we are just yeah making the small letters because we want to have we want to see them as a we say as a route itself or about password we're not going to make a route for this I guess but we'll see I'm not sure I will, we'll use uh, Google authentication maybe in the end if we had that much time I'll say beyond dev now and let's see what's up let's do a full refresh let's see console everything is good I want to go to register page use the user is not fine Ready. Looks good, right? Okay, let me just say local host. Start all three. Okay, this is how it looks. The username, email address, and the password. Create a new account. Already registered? Sign in. Yeah, why not? Okay, we have the remember option. We have the sign in. Forgot your password. Yeah, I forgot. Reset password. Yeah, that's not an issue for us, guys. We just want to register. You can see all are linked together, so you can just easily navigate through one page to another one. And uh, okay, about this thing, we'll uh, we'll you know make this thing after a la later better. Like if we are not logged in, we don't want to show them. If we are logged in, then we want to show them. Okay, so like that. We'll just keep it the way it is for now. We don't really want to mess with those things. Okay guys, so that was it for this video. I will see you in the next one and we'll make notification component in the next one and we'll make context API for notifications. So have a nice day and I will see you in the next one.